morning everyone. It's great to wake up here in Pigeon Forge. We're gonna go downstairs, grab some of that breakfast from the hotel that I'm staying at. And then, uh, yeah, we're gonna get started. We got a, thought I'd do a little shopping this morning. And then we're gonna go uh, meet the carpet bagger. So that's gonna be awesome. You guys come along with me. Got myself a nice uh, spread here at the Hampton. Some Danish and sausages and yogurt, a nice cinnamon waffle and a good glass of orange juice. I'm gonna enjoy this and then get ready for the day. Headed up to the fourth floor to get ready for the day. Just an FYI, if you ever lose or forget your toothbrush and you're staying at a Hampton, they will provide you a little, little complimentary ones. Heading out to the car now to get, get moving for the day, but just wanted to say how beautiful it is here in the foothills of the Smokies. I mean, even, even just some of the regular trees are just so beautiful, just so pretty. Don't really have any of these where I live at in Maryland. So I thought I'd stop by and check out this one. We're in the Smoky Mountains, so I'm assuming this one's gonna be just that much more excellent as outdoor life is so apparent around here just because of the beautiful scenery. It looks like they're having a Santa's Wonderland inside. Now I'm excited. Coming up front here, it seems they've got uh, some water features some very large wreaths and a a gator with a quack rack quack rack automatic door that's what it says well deer antler handles very large look at this Wow, this is probably one of the largest fast pro shops I've ever been in. Hello, Moose. And of course, I think pretty much all the Bass Pro Shops have a wonderful aquarium on the inside. And this one is no exception. Look at that. Just wonderful. Got a moose there, a bear, and it seems those deer have been startled by the bear. The ghosts are indifferent, as they are very high, and the bear could not get to them. Ah, I had some of these when I was a kid. These are uh, very large, large fish. Actually, I had this one exactly, and this catfish one here. It seems they have increased their amount. Oh, an alligator. How wonderful. Look at those fish. Those are incredible. Very big. Oh, there was one. And they even have an educational center here. So you can look and see what kind of fish you're taking a look at. Looks like that one is a channel catfish. You can see from the whiskers. Very, very much like a feline. There's some more fish. Very large tank. Must be. Uh, I have one goldfish at home, so it must. This this must be quite a bit larger. Quite a bit larger. Who do you think cleans this? Hello. That's a big fish. My hand for comparison. For the namesake, Bass Pro Shop. They obviously have just an incredible assortment of fishing equipment. This is just incredible way up the stairs here. Seems they've got a wonderful cave for you to stand in. And look, the back side of water. Get a little bird's eye view here. Now that's a bench I need in my home. 
They've even got a wonderful little shooting range here. Look at that. I did not know they had this. Uh, if only I had some quarters. Maybe I'll see if I can find an ATM get some cash out. These Seems like these are insert coins to play. Little laser guns here. How wonderful is that? How fun. There's an even better view of that wonderful water attraction. Just incredible. Just incredible. They've even got, I didn't notice this, they have a little lake down there full of all kinds of different fish. Get a good look at the inner workings of these elevators. How wonderful. Oh, they've even got a second bear back there. Well, these deer have, uh, they've, they've, they've got, they've got to run for their lives. Dude. That's two bears. That one seems indifferent to them, but that one seems like he said, where did they go? Just, uh, just finished up in Bass Pro Shop. Taking a look at the exit here. I'm going to head off. They have a, uh, a very large knife store <laughs> here in, um, in Pigeon Forge. I'm going to head there next and take a look at some of those, some of the incredible knives I bet they have there. One last great look at these stores are great. Well, the trees in the way there. And here we are at the uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works. It's supposed to be one of the largest knife stores anywhere, I guess. Stand here for photographs. Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Sign's a little messed up, but. Still very pretty. They have a very large and old drill press right here with a broken light bulb. I don't know when the last time this was in use. And of course, it's not an amazing view. You can see the Smoky Mountains off in the distance. It really is uh, on the drive. Driving around here, you get some breathtaking views of them. I mean, it really is. It's almost hard to keep your eye on the road. Just how beautiful they are. Even the door handles here are large knives. Very large knife store. Look at all that. Stopping and looking at some of these crazy looking knives. I guess these probably wouldn't be considered knives. They have even more very decorative ones here. Very pretty elk and bears. Very reminiscent of the Smoky Mountains. And these tiny little gun knives. Oh, these are probably pretty good. Interesting. Yeah, these are. You know, at what point uh, does it become a like a short sword? These are very large knives. That one even comes with tiny knives and a fork. Interesting. They have an amazing display. Just a wall of knives. It's closed to the public up there. But how incredible. Wow. They've even got uh, little shaving razors here. And some more knives. They seem to have a knife for every every uh, every budget very cheap knives that look great and seem like they would work very nice and also very very expensive knives this place has also got a wonderful little water feature something about water features inside that are always really mesmerizing over on this wall by the stairs they have even more knives up on the walls just for display Actually, this water feature 
comes down and goes over this bridge here and turns into a fully functional water wheel that's pulling all of this stuff. I didn't realize this store is so expensive. And they also have a bunch of Civil War history here. Lots of very old knives. Some old mini ball bullets. Some sabers. He looks lost. Another section. They have another section of knife history here. I even had this caught my eye. It's apparently a police dagger from Nazi Germany. This one belonged to Harry Grant. I believe so. Or it's just a replica. Add some more here. Some of these, I'm not really sure what the history behind them is, but it's very interesting to see. People have been using knives for thousands of years. That, one's, that one was three dollars. Just found this section with all the swords, and look at that. If you're a nerd like I am, they have a replica of Sting there. Gandalf sword, Glamdring, one of the Nazgul weapons. Ah, they even have the broken, the shards of Narsil. So cool. And the dagger from Total Recall. How about that? I can't believe that. I believe that's the, uh, that's the jacket of the guy that Arnold Schwarzenegger stabbed in the first, the bar scene in Terminator 2. That's an incredible line. I didn't even realize halfway how large this place was. Then we got another water feature here with a very large sword up there. I just noticed that, that's incredible. And they have a gun store down here. Look at all this. Just finished up at Knife, Knife Works. Got myself a couple things and a copy of their little magazine here. Now I'm heading off to the main event of today. Well, one of them. I'm going to meet uh, the Carpet Bagger, one of my favorite YouTubers. It's going to be awesome. He's having a meet up here in Pigeon Forge. So I figured I would come down here, and that's, that's pretty much the reason I came down here. So, yeah, come along. Here we are at Lanier's General Store in line to meet the Carpet Bagger. This. More people here than I expected. Up there you can see the three goats on the roof mountain coaster. Yeah, now we just wait. Just met the carpet bagger, got a signed postcard from him. He's a super cool guy. If you ever watch his channel, if you're watching my channel, you probably watch his channel, so but and then went to that general store and bought something from there. Thought I'd support the place that's that's hosting him, so now we are uh, off to Dollywood. So let's see what that's all about. 